So, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the duct. Um, so, I did it beforehand. Um, so, what I'm going to do, I'm going to include the duct to my propeller. Um, so, it will, uh, uh, this is a simulation only with duct. There's the propeller and duct. Um, so, um, let's start where I left last time. Um, first of all, I won't need this mesh because it was for the stress simulation this is uh, from part 3 so the um, after the stress simulation of the um, single propellers um, so first i'm going to include the new model uh, this will be our duct so let's import that models uh, we saved it Here, it's a duct. Um, going to look in which direction it was exactly. Um, so I'm going to open the scene. If I now show the text, I see it's oriented directly normally. Uh, no. Why can't I see the text? Ah, now I can see it. So it's not in the right direction, like I thought already. So I'm going to change that. Ah, the cat was open, I clicked on, that's why I didn't see it before. Um, not rotate. It. it has to be in the X direction, so let's do it uh, minus one. Yeah, that's looking good. Uh, and then I'm going to transform it. Oh, well, it could be the X direction, but I'm not sure. Yeah, okay. I'm that close. Okay. Why it's So now you can see the prop will be around the propeller. Okay. But I'm gonna use a different propeller because I used a bigger duct than for this sprint propeller. Um so drop a matlab again and make an open prop uh, propeller here. I already made it but I'm just gonna show it. Um so you know which input parameters you need to use to get the same results. Um, so I've, I've used this input parameters. You can take a screenshot of it. Um, so I'm going to make a new model. It's easier. Then I uh, can just delete the from the parts you were, uh, your previous propeller, so it's more easy, just easier to just make every time a new cat model and then just delete the cat model if you don't need it. Um, so it's on my desktop. That's this one again. This one. I'm going to use airfoil. 
Okay. Parameters and just none. Okay. And the y z direction. Just as well fit on the tip from what we've heard from the last video. Uh, extrudes. And two is a metric, and we're gonna merge it. If you merge it, it will just create one body. It's easier to work with, and there are no other bodies in this cut model, so no stress from interference. Uh, okay. Update, close. Then you don't have to group the uh, like we did last time. Uh, okay, looking good. There's a propeller, it's an endurance propeller. For endurance race. So this prop won't need it anymore. And the new prop. This one. You can see it's bigger also, so it will fit on the duct. Fit with the duct. Um, okay. So. Um, so this is good. Okay, that should do it. I need to make one thing more. This will be called ducts. And now I'm going to need to make. This will also be called. Oh, I'm just going to delete that. Edits. This was flip extrude. Two is symmetric, and I'm going to run. See. Pretty good already. And you can see the text inside. If you select merge, the text will be merged and it will be deleted. So, important to select here none. Uh, and I'm gonna call this body uh, text domain. Okay, a bit close and we jump the plot. Okay. Ducts can be updated. Okay, uh, everything is updated. So I will need to make a new body and subtraction. This will be duct domain and ducts and rotate. And target part will be duct domain. Oh god. Okay. Uh, also here we have to change it to duct domain because this was the first and this we don't have to change okay um let's go first other things and with the mesh so this new subtract will be called duct subtract okay I'm gonna have to create a region. Let's first do some other things. Nope, I'm gonna create a region right away. Uh, set region in the side parts. Uh, duct region. Each part surface. Okay. Like. Um, and then now. Uh, Like the contrary to the propellers, I'm going to split this. So this will be the one. Mm -hmm. A 
update update okay mm. there are the regions here okay yeah I will just make a solid well, not. yeah it's good like this yeah okay rotate and then um, this interference has to be away because it's not interfered with the fluid domain but with the duck domain now so I'm going to say like this domain and to rotate same create interference so the water can pass through and the duct on this Fluid domain, that's not normal. Duck domain default. Yeah. It's the duck domain, so you can see it's duck domain default. So it's from duck, but I didn't mesh, so the meshing is not uh, updated yet. So it won't show the, this one. It's, it's, it's the same. Um, for a while uh, when we um, updated the operation in mesh you can see it no not yet it's no problem um, so I'm just make it myself easy and copy it copy the rotate and I'm gonna call it duct mesh I will make of course some changes because it's not necessary to make it as fine as with the text. Uh, first, I'm going to decrease the number of person niche and um, change the thickness. Well, it's not needed to change the thickness. But, um, and with custom controls, it's not prop, but it's uh, of course, take it off. It's the ducts. Okay, and then here the road it will be the default and duct main. I'm also going to make a copy. Based. and now I'm going to use this one and in this one I'm going to make it custom and make it finer so the other one is 0 0.3 this one will be 0 0.1 so here it will be finer because that's where the duct and the propeller interfere so the mesh will customize and a little bit finer on this, on that place. Um, mm -hmm. You can show it here, what normally would be the result. Um, well, that's the first uh, the necessary changes here. Then you can show the result while it's calculating. Uh, so the prop, it's still there, it's the prop. Um, what has to change? The road date. Yeah, all, all the same here. Make copy, paste, and paste the same one. Oh, the prop is also, of course, with the tip. Um, and also make it uh, custom. Of course, disable, really important. And okay. Hopefully, I didn't make a mistake, but I can change it if I make a mistake. Okay, let's uh, run the mesh and see the results. Um, if I did everything correctly, 
I don't have this mesh. Um, so I'll just let this one mesh it. So here you can see the duct color. Yeah, it's already sold so that you can see the blades. The blades are perpendicular. But no, it doesn't matter that much. But here is the duct mesh. And Okay, that part maybe. Of course, it's normal. Um, I did not yet. Um, oh, I will delete this one. Yeah, it's easier to just get rid of the physics too, so you won't get errors. Because I deleted the uh, automatic mesh already. Although it will say there is no mesh for that uh, solver. Mm. You have to select here all reasons with plane sections. Yeah, this will update when uh, the project is ready. So let's skip ahead to when the mesh is solved. Yeah, now the volume mesh is already solved. But let's skip ahead. So, as you can see, I made a little mistake. So, you can see right here. Uh, the rooted region stops and the propeller isn't yet fully meshed. Um, so, here that isn't the problem. Uh, let's show the other mesh. What would be the result? I will show you the quick fix for that. So, normally it would be like this. So, what's the problem? Our rooted region is too small. Um, luckily, that isn't a big problem. So, we go to here. And edit the and make the rotate region a little bit bigger. Uh, that's also an aspect of uh, doing simulations. Uh, it will won't be correct the first time, most of the time, but. You have to think logically what went wrong and uh, most of the time you can find it. Uh, of course, I now have to remesh it, it's a little bit lost time. But not, that, not that big of a problem. The only thing, yeah, what will definitely change is, of course, yeah, but meshes that are hard to, hard, most hard to uh, calculate, but yeah, it is what it is. But while it's calculating, I will show some interesting results from a duct simulation. So, um, what the duct actually does is, you can see it right here, it will increase the speed so increase the speed inside the, if you have an accelerating duct, so increase the speed inside the duct. So what happens? Um, the speed is higher right here. If you take in a, a performance curve of the of this propeller, uh, oh. yeah, now I'll ask a lot of my computer, but um, it will handle that. So here you can see the performance curves. The duct will increase the, you can see here, it will increase the velocity. Oh. So, as you can see right here, it will increase the velocity. And uh, see the advanced coefficient um, is the speed, it's the velocity, yeah, it's the speed of the ship, so the velocity that's shown right here is uh, 4 meters a second. Let's say the ship is going 4 meters a second. 
it will increase that um, speed inside uh, around the propeller. So right here it's uh, let's say five. Uh, let's say an average of four point five. Um, so it will increase, and that will that will be shown in our uh, uh, on our performance curve, like um, going to the left. Um, so the speed will increase. Um, going to the right. Excuse me. So the the speed will increase, but the 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 propeller will still go the same speed. Uh, so that will change. It will it will move the performance curve to the left. So this point, this peak will be now situated here, and then it will be like this. So a bigger uh, efficiency and uh, and power uh, when the ship is going slow, so because it will increase it. So it will it will be projected to the right. So let's say this is a point of um, 200 newtons, and um, with the with the um, uh, propeller. Um, of um, 20 per second um, and now it will be um, that point will be not here because the speed is higher so the speed will be here so the speed will be projected here so actually this point will now be that point and so it will move the front screw Let's see which calculation did we get done. It's almost done. All the propellers, so oh no, don't. Let's see. Uh, the propellers are already done already, but yeah, that should be the main screen. That's something alright. Mm. Also I made the probe. So you can uh, see the velocity. You can make it right here, the probe, the line probe. You place it with two points. And that you can plot. So if I want to do plot, new plot, x, x y plot. Uh, you choose a vector in which direction the vector will have to go. And you can choose the, for the y, I will use a color function or take the velocity. Because I'm interested in velocity. Oh, yeah, it won't work because of calculating. Um, let me check on. Sweet. My uh, explanation wasn't that good, I found, so I will try again. So what happens actually is, so normally on this point you will have 200 newtons and a uh, um, torque of 8, eh? so that's what it said right here, 200 newtons and a torque of 8. But because this ship has a higher velocity, right now, G, I'll go to the right, so this point will now become this point, so what will mean? It will only have, say, let's say, um, uh, because here, and eh, the torque will be low because uh, uh, the torque coefficient will be lower. You can see it here, here. So the torque will be lower, and the also, of course, then the, um, the torque in the thrust will be lower. Eh? The, so that will happen. And what happens? So now it will be only, let's say, 80 newtons and um four uh, 80, 80 newtons and four newton meters but uh, why do you use a duck then so in on lower on lower speeds so let's say that if you are out here this is an interest more interesting point than this because here you have uh, on, on really low speeds eh? so you can get with the duck you can increase the the thrust on lower speeds the thrust because you have a higher uh, a higher uh, Rotation speed. Also, the so yeah, the higher rotation speed and the KT doesn't change a lot. 
so with a higher rotation speed and uh, and uh, a, a little bit different of 10% in KT you have a higher truss because it's uh, ponderous and that's why you, uh, you deck to have a higher thrust on low speeds but from an efficiency span standpoint it's not that great for uh, in, in our situation it could be in, in different situations but in our situation it's not that great for efficiency it also decreases the risk of cavitation so for set movies or something like that it's also interesting because then it uh, will have a low cavitation lower acoustic noise and you won't be noticed and won't be shelled to the bits. So you can see here the mesh looking okay. And you can see here the mesh is finer than let's say here or here. So that's also what I said it would be. Here it's, it's pretty rough but it doesn't matter because it's, you're not interested in what happens here. You're more interested in what happens here and here. Here also not but that's because we have to define the surface of the deck so it's, it will be fine otherwise the growth rate will be too much and that's also not okay but overall the mesh looks pretty okay here you can also actually decrease that would be better if you decrease the mesh right here because it's a bit of it too rough and um, also to save on uh, computer time it's all fine um, so now I'll I'm gonna, if I now say initiate, you can see there is no volume mesh, blah blah blah, it's not okay, but that is because we deleted the automated mesh from the stress simulation, we want, yeah, it just would be in the way of building strange, so if I delete it all, and save, initiate, you can see it will work. And then we can run the simulation. Oh no, I don't want to do that. Hang on. I've already run the simulation here. Let's see. For some time, you can see. Ah, I've already run it for some time. But at first, please let's start from scratch. And then. Uh, normally, it will have the same results if I did everything correctly, of course as here and so what can you see right here if it will load oh no did I open not the correct one probably um, let's see Yeah, here you can see the results, they the same as shown in the mesh. Um, no, this is not the right one. Hmm. Uh, where are the net results? Um, Not that important. You can see here the results already coming up. Did I make a mistake? I think I made a mistake. I didn't change the rotation speeds. See, it's still 3000. But I said it would be 1200. So that has to change, of course. Uh, let's counter clock. Let's make this one actually less. Uh, a little side note right here, you have to change the rotation speed in minus 2000. 
Let's see. The rifle guns. Normally. Uh, so, soul speed isn't that slow, actually. No. So, I made, of course, another mistake. We can see here there is something strange going on in my results when looking all right. So, we can actually see, do some auto troubleshooting. And I think I see the, the mistake I made. So, see, here is kind of a hard line. See the velocity here, and then, no, it's not okay. Uh, here it goes pretty good out a little bit, so I guess I made a mistake in my regions. So let's take a look at my regions. I made one interface, not enough interfaces. So I did make an interface with uh, one interface. So, oh, see, here this is only interface and not the whole thing. So, here are both, that's okay, and here there is only. This is not selected. So there is an interface, so the water can pass through it to put it. I will clear it and see if now the results are more logical. I have to read nice, of course. That's a thing. Okay. Then something else we have to change is uh, you can see here the velocity is now 8.5, so that's from our sprint propeller from the last simulation. Of course, now we set the velocity before. So if you use the prop propeller from last time, you don't have to do it, but if you make a new propeller like here, you will have to change the velocity and do it right here. And also, right here, of course. Okay, now everything is set up normally for the simulation, so let's see. Here we go, right? As you can see right here, the velocity has changed. Color like this, so it's for this. Also, it's um, it's not the five direction thing. Let me see what the direction of the dress, and it's the wrong direction. I thought I made it because, as you can see, you put on the sky scene, there's a lot of uh, low pressure and uh, low uh, velocity field on the propeller, so it means it's spinning in the wrong direction. Normally means so let me set it. It's of course minus. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Right now, after you set everything all right. You can normally let it run for a few hours, but in the beginning you have to see you have to see that everything is done according to plan. And now you can see the velocity is increasing. It's also normal because the propeller will increase the velocity from here to here, and that also will uh, produce a thrust because uh, any time the velocity has a uh, power, uh, it's uh, it's uh, yeah a power. Uh, Vector. So now you can see it's it's practically it's, it's in the positive direction. Also the torque should be in the positive direction. Okay. Now I can let it run for a while and see the results. I will come back when the results are there. 
Uh, so here you can see the results. Um, like you expect, the trust was uh, lower than uh, uh, inputted in open block. So normally we expected a trust of uh, 100, uh, 200 milligrams. In the simulated trial, it was only uh, 100 and 100 yeah. uh, And then the torque was 5.5, and expected was um, 8.2. So if you put that value, put that value into uh, our uh, population tables, tables, and you can see I'm going to put it here. Um, the evaluation was um, 1200 and uh, diameter is 5. The thrust was um, 100 okay. and the torque was 5.5. And and the speed was only 4. So you can see the efficiency is drastically lower than uh, the expected value in open prop. So you can say we are now somewhere right here on the, the uh, performance curve instead of the expected value of here. So that's the simulation of a duct. Um, color scene. Let's make again a good scene, turn it off. So let's make the last part new. Let's make uh, resample the formula. Let's just say the origin. Scene. This color scene will, will include, instead of the plane, the resampled volume. Okay, so the velocity will increase the capacity. That's something we can calculate the thrust with. Mm. You can see the capacity of our upper valve. Quite beautiful scenes. If you see like it. Mm. You can also make a video of this with uh, the, the simulation history. That will also make a file of more than uh, 50 gigabytes. So it's a lot. Take that into account. But if you want. You can do it. Let's duct and prop and duct. You can see it a little bit better. And then let's make a scale higher. Velocity, make it more interesting. Interesting. But let's end the video. Or the live view. Here you can play with this. Uh, if you like to make a nice scene.
for this one, and then that's all for today. If there are some questions, I uh, will answer them as best I can.